Good evening, brothers and sisters. This is my Friday, my time with God. When I was called to the congregation of Ienon, the Brothers Association of my hometown, my home congregation, Acadia in Port Elizabeth, they accompanied me to the congregation of Ienon. That Sunday morning, when Bishop Moose introduced me to the congregation, the brothers who were present also had an opportunity to say something to the congregation. As, a, as I was part of the Brothers Association in Arcadia congregation, they felt that they want also to give me to a new Brothers Association. So they handed me a gift, and that gift was a Bible. And in the book, in the Bible, they also signed it, each person that was present that Sunday morning. Right at the front of the Bible was a psalm, Psalm 25, verse 4 and 5. When my sister's daughter received a job in Johannesburg, we had a prayer meeting at our house. And my sister asked me to, as we will say, put her on the road. And that was the exact psalm that I gave also to her. Psalm 25, verse 4 and 5. Now, since my calling to the congregation of Enon, in 2006, I had made this Psalm 25 my own. And especially verse 4 and verse 5, where King David is pleading to God, asking God to teach me and to show me and to lead me in the right way. Now, dear brothers and sisters, so often, so we go astray. So often, we forget about who the Lord is in our lives. We forget the goodness of the Lord. We forget his blessings upon our lives. And even in the life of King David, he himself reminded him constantly. He reminded him even in this Psalm 25, about who God is. And he is actually pleading to God, asking God, reminding God, think back when I was young. So dear brothers and sisters, I want us also to meditate on Psalm chapter 25, verse 5, where the Lord is actually speaking also to us through King David, teach me, O Lord, and lead me. Sometimes we forget, dear brothers and sisters, that it is everything that we have, everything that we have achieved in life, is because God is always with us. And he never leaves us. He never abandoned us. And we also have to be reminded from time to time that God is always with us. David reminded him in the psalm, in Psalm 25, and he pleaded to God, do not leave me, do not abandon me, but think back when you called me when I was still a young boy. And in our daily lives, dear brothers and sisters, we also need to remind ourselves of our younger days. Even now that we have grown older, we also have to remind ourselves that God is still there. We need to get our instruction, our teaching from Him. He is the one through His Holy Spirit 
that will guide us and steer us into a direction, a direction that He wants us to move into. So many times we are moving on our own and we are depending on our own strength. And yet, in Psalm chapter 25, David reminds us, Lord, show us the way. Lord, lead us. Lord, teach us. And that is that I want us to meditate on this evening. That we also need to come and stand still. And stand in the presence of the Lord. And plead by God. Ask by God, and ask God to show us the way. To teach us the way. And to lead us into a direction that he wants us to move forward into. Join me right now, dear brothers and sisters, on this Friday evening, our time with God. How God can lead us and teach us and show us the way that he wants us to move in. Let us meditate on Psalm 25 verse 5, where David is asking God, lead me and teach me. Join me right now in prayer, dear brothers and sisters. O oh, Heavenly Father, on this Friday evening, I come before you to honor you, to praise you, to glorify you for all the wonderful things that you have done in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your many blessings that you have bestowed upon each and every one of us during this day, during this week. Thank you, Lord, that we are standing in your presence in this evening, pleading, confessing, and asking you to show us again the way that you want us to move into. Lead us, Lord, into a direction. Lead our leaders, our church leaders. Lead our church councils, our district executive members, our congregants. Lead us, Lord, into the way that you want us to move as a church, as a community of believers. Teach us, Lord, your ways, your will in our lives. Yes, Lord, we confess in this evening, so many times we are depending on our own strength and wisdom. Forgive us. And just like King David is pleading to you, who is standing in front of you in Psalm 25, reminding you of the days that he was faithful unto you. Teach us again, Lord. Remind us again of your faithfulness, of your love and of your blessings and your grace so that we can know that you are our God. Help us in this unknown evening as we go and rest. And when we wake up in the new day, let us remind ourselves that you are ready to lead us. You are ready to teach us and to show us the way that you want us to go in. Thus we pray in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to challenge you this evening. Pause a little bit and meditate and ask God in, in his presence to remind you, to lead you, to teach you and to show you his ways. His will in our lives. This is my Friday, my time with God. Have a blessed day. Stay safe and be blessed. I thank you very, very much.